Extracts from my childhood. Happy days. When I was 10 years old, we moved from a terraced house on a main road to a house with a garden. There was a field at the back of the house with a horse in it. Not a posh horse, just a cart horse. I was in heaven. Whenever I had a spare minute, I was over the fence and into the field. I hijacked my mother's carrots, bread crusts, and anything else I could lay my hands on and set about getting to know my new friend. She was a lovely, gentle soul with dark brown eyes. We soon got to be great friends. My dad, who I hadn't known in my early years, only as a shadowy figure, as he was away in the war, was by then my best friend. He paid me half a crown a bucket for the manure she produced, so I was kept busy. Rosie, as I found her name to be, was getting old, and suddenly one day she had a companion, a skittish filly, too young to be used in any way at that time. Her name was Queenie, and I soon grew to love her. She wouldn't come anywhere near me to start with, but when she realised she was missing out on the carrots and bread, she gradually came round. I used to borrow my mum's scrubbing brush and brush Queenie until she shone, and she seemed to thrive as I gentled her. Eventually, she would stand alongside the fence and let me climb on her back, and she would wander around the field cropping at the grass with me on board. She introduced me to the world of horses, and later on in life, I had my own ponies for a while and have never lost my love for them. <laughs>